Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Baldwin. This is their part number 4005050. This is a dome style floor stop, is what it is. Very typical, very common dome style floor stop. Um, use your imagination, you can see why we call it a dome style. Being Baldwin, it's nice, attractive appearance, good fit and finish. There's no doubt about it. Okay. This is one of a small offering of different stops that Baldwin has, and we'll go over that in a moment. Let's go over some dimensional properties first. Uh, before we do that, this is in the 050 finish. That's Baldwin speak for uh, what we would call 609 um, antique brass, or you may know it as US5. It would be correct to call this 609, because 609 is US5, except that 609 tells us that it's made of brass. Although, um, because there are other non-brass components in this, you know, you might um, think of it otherwise. But the finished part, the part that has the finish we're referring to, is all brass. So I would say that the BHMA number uh, 605, there's the U.S. system, which got its start in the very late 1920s. There was a government initiative with industry that said, let's come together, let's create a standard. The U.S. system of finishes was born. I have researched it. I found an initiative by the government in about 1927 to do this. And U.S. numbers sh are, appeared, the closest catalog that I have to that era is, I think, a 1930 or a 1931 book by Sargent. And it refers to the uh, U.S. numbers in that 1930-31 catalog. So somewhere in those that short period is when this all happened. The point of the matter is the U.S. system tells us this would be U.S. 5, antique brass. Great. Doesn't tell me the base material. Fast forward a uh, couple of decades, I'm guessing. I don't know the history of BHMA. Someday I will investigate that. But they said, well, the U.S. system is good, but it would be better if we knew the base material as well. And um, your next question is, okay, what is the... Um, finish code antique brass when it is made of uh, on a steel base material and I don't 635 maybe let's take a look I'm curious now complete ANSI BHMA numbers okay US 5 is both 609 when it's brass and interesting, they don't have this made of, they, there is, well, yeah, there is no steel base material. That's why I don't know it. Um, although a 635 is an oxidized satin brass plated, relieved, and clear coated. The BHMA list does not put US5 there, but, um, you know, oxidized satin brass plated because it's steel relieved and clear coated I would say that that would be a, a, a good verbal description of antique brass anyway uh, so this is 609 or 050 now some dimensional properties after taking a uh, wrong turn in that uh, that fork on the road I just took I apologize diameter looks like it's about <laughs> one and seven eighths yeah that's what they call it an overall height and I'm gonna hold it upside down so we can be a bit more accurate with that about an inch and three sixteenths. They call it out as inch and a quarter. I'm seeing it a little short on that. Uh, yeah, a little short. The height of the base, also holding it upside down. They call it out as three eighths of an inch. I'd say that's spot on. So what is your undercut going to need to be? Um, seven sixteenths, half inch, nine sixteenths, something in that range. With that overall height, you can see that you're getting to about an inch and a sixteenth on the height of the bumper. Um, so... You know, an undercut of half inch, five eighths, you know, in that range, I think is where it would be good. If you had a three quarter undercut, um, you know, that's, you don't have a lot of the surface of the stop making contact. Um, but, you know, there you go. You might opt for a, a different option if your undercut really got past that. This is going to include a wood screw with a plastic anchor. It's going to include a machine screw with a lead anchor. That means you'll be able to put this into a, uh, a floor that is just wood, uh, a, a tiled floor that will have grout and then maybe underlayment below it. 
you'd be able to put this into a masonry floor with that lead expansion anchor. So you'd be able to install this any way that you really like. Let's switch to the screen view where we can take a closer look at some supporting documentation. So this is the item that we're looking at here and we have our description. Okay, We're not going to see floor stops in hospitals. Nothing to, as a general rule, um, nothing pierces into floors when it can be avoided. But you do you do see um, you do see hardware installed in floors occasionally. I'm thinking of maybe a Hager rescue pivot set that runs on a rack and pinion. Uh, anyway, template link is here that will give us the dimensional properties of our item. Okay, you do note that you have to drill two holes for this, and that post sticking off the end that I was using as a handle. You know, you need both of those preparations in the floor to simply prevent the floor stop from rotating, from turning or spinning. And that's where that is and the location of where that is all to be, um, where that all is to be done at is indeed listed here. Um, the anti-rotation is the shorter one. They say 5 8 deep. It's, that's wrong. That's way off. That that hole needs to be a one inch deep because I'm measuring it here in my hand. I'm looking at the pin in five eighths and saying that's not right. Um, this should be over here most certainly. If you use that lead anchor, you could probably get away with something shorter, but not nothing on here is five eighths. So you're going to be every bit of like an inch deep on both holes would be my guess. Um, cross-section cross drawing here, etc. Now, there's a link here to the manufacturer's page that will allow us to pull up the manufacturer's catalog that's here. And from there is where we can take a look at our other uh, stops, our other uh, floor stops, wall stops available from Baldwin. So what I did there was I opened up an older book that I have titled Estates. Uh, it was estate specifications and price list you know this documents eight years old at this point but I'm familiar with it and I know this item is in there 4050 I just did a control F for a find function on my keyboard for four, oh sorry it's 4005 we're gonna wait for the um, PDF to be indexed and hopefully it does so it was not able to find that so let's just type in floor stop See what we come up with here. Knowing that the hardware is down in the back section of the catalog, or maybe actually, I might be wrong. It may not be in this because this is just the estates line. Let's back up. Let's go to the. Uh, let's go to. Let's go to the most current document. Okay, so we've got one from 2019. Let's try our control F again. Here it is. All right, so I was wrong initially, no doubt. So here are some variations, and that's where that, you know, you got a three quarter inch undercut, you're probably gonna wanna go to the 4010. Okay, and there's also the 4000 with a 3 16 tall lip. 3 16 3 8 and half inch. So those are all really good options. You have a riser here that's available, and the riser just literally goes underneath the unit and is intended to help build the stop up when you have carpeting, is the bottom line. Made for use on carpet floors is where the riser is intended for. So also, um, what is the difference here now? Let's take a look. Risers are designed to fit all 4000 series bumpers. Always specify floor condition and finish. So the what's odd here is that we have 
the 4209 and 4210 riser giving us the same height so it's unclear uh, what the difference is here it's probably it could be a, a typo um, and I will find out from the factory what that actual difference is and I will clarify that at some point in the future but in this section of the catalog you're going to see other stops a, this is called a gooseneck style if you use your imagination you can see why we would call it a gooseneck style stop kick down door holders baseboard stops very nice quality I mean just exceptional the 4015 and the 4052 are pretty neat because they're simply smaller the 40 sorry the 4015 is nice because it's one inch diameter and the reason that's nice is because you can use this wall stop if you're doing cabinetry you might have a vanity in a bathroom and one of the doors below the sink open up right to a wall um, and you don't want your hardware hitting your you know wallpaper that could be a trillion dollars a square yard kind of thing a nice petite piece of hardware there might just save the day um, obviously other uh, uh, wall stops are here as well the more typical material so the reason Baldwin in my estimation has this commercial hardware is not only that it complements the other material that you're already buying from Baldwin meaning their privacy sets passage sets entrance locks etc but this all goes together neatly on the same list of hardware when you are trimming out a house so you can did all you can do all of your hardware from Baldwin your locking heart latching hardware but you're going to need stops. You might need some, you know, edge poles. You might need some roller latches and sash locks, uh, you know, sash lifts. So it's really nice to stay within the <clears throat> Baldwin um, universe because, you know, it is of a matching, exceptionally high quality uh, fit and finish when it comes to this material. Door knockers, mail slots, obviously, in the general hardware section of the catalog. I'm a big fan of this material, and it's because of a couple of reasons. Not only because it's so high quality, but because every time that I call Baldwin, I get a prompt, immediate, professional answer to my technical question uh, that never leaves me unsure of what needs to be done next. Let's wrap up this video on camera. As far as I know, they do not sell these rubber bumpers separately as well. There is no listed part for it either um, so that's just how that's going to be if you have any questions on the baldwin 40 4005 and an 050 finish lots of other colors naturally and they're they're shown down below i would not be surprised if that list is more complete uh, especially today in the uh, different uh, environment we live in in terms of finishes that clients request and what i mean is black uh, you know Variations on oil rub bronze, which they have there, what's called Venetian bronze. Um, but powder coated finishes are very common now. Black is really the thing. Black is most definitely a timeless color. Um, it has not been at all very, it has not been popular with the exception of the last couple of years in my entire career. But if you look over the last hundred years of finish, you're going to see black um, as an option um, historically. So it's just coming around. Someday polished brass will come back. Um, in full effect. If there are any questions on the Baldwin 4005 and an 050 finish or any other Baldwin product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.